All right, so today I'm going to uh, kill two birds with one stone. Um, I'm going to show you my favorite version of the uh, pressure thumb brace, which you use on hand drills. Uh, some people uh, call them uh, training wheels, but you know, uh, it's just another form of technology. So. I'm also going to demonstrate uh, some fire hacks and I'm going to use uh, some new materials that I've never used before, ever. Okay, but first I'm going to show you how to make my favorite version of the pressure thumb brace. Now, uh, the most famous versions of the pressure thumb brace are uh, a cap. So you would have a spindle. And you could um, get either uh, wood with a hollow material like bamboo, right? And you could put this on top, like a cap, right? And then two strings would, I would put two holes here with two strings that run down and I would put my thumbs in the strings, okay? I have one somewhere, but I can't find it. And then my thumbs would pull down on this cap, the cap puts pressure on the spindle, and then you could spin the spindle in the cap this way. I mean, it, that would be easy to imagine. The other version, which is well known, is you um, put an arrow knock in the top of the spindle, and your uh, pressure thumb brace, I'm just going to borrow some velvet leaf. Now I would put these around my thumbs, right? And then I would take my cordage and I would put it in the knock and I could put pressure on it like that, right? That's another version. But uh, these two uh, variations, um, you have, uh, it's complicated and it's more work to make the cap version, okay? And the uh, arrow knock and the string version, I don't like because you can't use it on any kind of spindle. If you put a knock in a fragile spindle, okay? Let's say I have my cordage twisted. This is velvet leaf cordage. Let's say I twist that and I put pressure on this spindle. You can imagine what's gonna happen, right? That's what happens to your spindle. This is uh, evening primrose, which I don't need. And I use that for a demo. So, and the cap one takes a bit of work to make. What is, what is my favorite way to do a pressure thumb brace? Well, what you do is you go down to any auto parts store or any like big box store and in the auto section you can get what's called a chamois cloth now this is french c-h-a-m-o-i-s it's pronounced chamois i believe if not my french friends will correct me so uh uh in english <laughs> we might spell that s-h-a-m-m -M why chamois okay but it's chamois in french all right so and it's sheepskin like a buckskin but it's sheepskin and it's used for drawing automobiles uh gently and uh so this particular chamois which i just got down at the big box store is 17 dollars and uh it's very soft it's very luxurious what you do is you take one of these, okay, find an edge, you're going to take a standard 12 inch ruler, okay, let's see, let's go, let's go here on this edge, alright, take a standard 12 inch ruler, okay, and I'm going to cut out right here 
the 12 inch ruler. Sorry, I'm blocking the <laughs> camera. Now I'm just doing this really, really quick. Okay, so I'm not being perfect with it. So here I have my 12 inch ruler. Obviously that's really bad cutting. Right. Now, I need places for my thumbs. So I'm gonna fold this over on one end and I'm gonna cut out Space for my thumb, away from the edge, at least the thumb's area away from the edge, here and here, okay. And that's it, you've got your pressure thumb brace. Now what's nice about this, as easy as it is, um, I like to use pressure thumb braces when I know the spindle is really, really difficult. It's really heavy. It's really hard. Mugwort is hard to do when it's not um, deteriorated. Now these two new ones, which I'm going to do, uh, New England Aster and Tick Seed which the scientific name is Coreopsis, which I think is in the uh, coneflower family, I think. I'll make sure it's on the, the video. But these are really hard. So these require a lot of pressure, right? Um, but, and that's fine for this. But can I use this on fragile stalks? So this mullein, is a lot lighter, it's hard to tell, but it's a lot lighter and it's more fragile. And if I were to just bend it with my thumbs, this would just crack. So, but when I want to use my pressure thumb brace on this one, okay, it's going to be very gentle on it when I go to use it. So it's not gonna split it and it's not complicated like a cone or a, a cap, I mean, okay? So, let's get to business, right? Let's put the velvet leaf aside, let's put the ruler aside, let's put the mullen aside. The new wood, and this is brand new, never been used. This is a wood I found in a exotic lumber yard. It's called Bannock. And uh, I'll ha also have the scientific name for you um, up here on the site, uh, on the page. And we're gonna do the New England Aster, which I've never done. So these are two things I've never done. Bannock and North, East, North East England Aster, right? So this has never been used. Uh, the walls are pretty thick. It's pretty heavy, it's, this is dense. So it's not like uh, a fragile, plant all right and this is also a one of the late flowering plants which means it's very woody all right so I imagine a lot of more than the average pressure is going to be needed for this um, material so I'm going to place this over okay it's going to catch see it holds and now I'm just going to Relax. Just gonna lean on it. Starting to get friction because it's smoking now. Now I should have raised the floor up. You know I'm famous for doing that, but I'm just gonna keep going right now. So my phone died at the worst possible moment, but here's the coal. And that's very disappointing. So uh, 
I'm gonna do another one. So we're gonna do the tick seed, which I've never done before. We're recording on my son's phone now. And I, I can't stand it when videos are edited and I take full responsibility for making sure my not my phone was not fully charged. All right, so this spindle has a a bend in it, which you can see. So it's going to be a little odd. You know what? This time I'm gonna. raise the floor up a little bit on this one. Okay. This has never been used. It's it's not been mated. Okay. I'm using a, a new one here new socket so I'm just leaning on it really. all I have to do is lean and spin just lean and spin you want as much rotation as you could possibly get too so rotate rotate spin spin but all the pressure comes from you just leaning. I think that's got it. All right, and that's two. Now this mullen has been used and it's really light. So normally <clears throat> I would not need to use the pressure thumb brace at all. But the point of this technology of this pressure thumb brace is that it can handle a delicate spindle. Okay. And again, this is Bannock for the board. I've never used Bannock before. It's an exotic. So I just did New England Aster Tick Seed and the Mullen. Common Mullen. Three coals in a row. Right. With a pressure thumb brace, you saw me just take 60 seconds to make, and it's universal for all hand drills, whether they're heavy, very dense, or very light and fragile. All right? Because Fire Dojo is steam based. Science, technology, engineering, art, and math, measurements, all right? Proof is everything, all right? And until next time, let's keep going.